Hey YouTube, just want to do a quick video showing you how to recover lost documents in Word. So let's say this is my document. This is my document, right? So then here you go to File, Options, and then Save, right? So then here, Save Auto Recover Information Every and then you can set it for as many as long as you want. I set it for one minute just to show this example. And I forget what the default was, but it's just deep in the C drive, and you have to go through and memorize the path and open 10 windows. So here you just go to Browse. And I set it for my desktop. So bam, desktop, and OK. And that's it. So I mean, that's, that's as simple as it is, right? So you go OK. And then I already have it set for that. So mine should be opening here any second now. And yep, there it is. I have it only recording part of my desktop, so I have to drag it over. And then here, this is only if you, uh, let's say your computer shuts down, you lose power out of nowhere, you didn't save Word. This file will be sitting there when you come back. But I was testing this earlier, and it, it's not there if you close Word accidentally after saving. So this is what the example I'm going to do right here. I'm going to do save as, and then browse, and then this is my document, right? So desktop, and save it, right? Okay, so now I need to wait another minute for the autosave to kick in again, because that's what I had set it at. Pretty sure. Let's check. Kill some time, too. So remember, options. Save one minute. Okay, so with the <clears throat> but I mean this is I mean it's all about um, boxes that are checked, little options that you need to find in Windows. It's always good to know these little tricks of the trade. So I mean that's basically it. And then can't oh I forgot to do something here. Um, changes since my last save and now it's 756 <clears throat> so oh yeah and then I have here um, what's called um, an Oracle virtual machine and a virtual machine is basically let's say you have a Windows 8 computer and then I want to install Windows 7 I can install it on the virtual machine and then you can have both running simultaneously and people go as far as installing Macs onto their Windows and having the whole Mac system on their Windows stuff like that so I think it's kinda cool it's a virtual machine. Like, see here, I have it running. I had run had it running earlier, but it's Windows 7 here. I see how it's Windows 7 is running updates, installing like recent updates. So, and I think that's cool. Basically, virtual machine Oracle. I'll show you how to do that in my last video. So one minute has passed, right? Okay. So basically, here I go. I saved it initially, remember, and then changes since my last save, but I haven't saved, right? So let's say I accidentally don't save, and I'm like, oh no, I didn't save. So I reopen Word, open the same document again, go File, and then Info is already open. So you go to Versions here, and when I closed without saving, and that happened one minute ago because it's 758 right now and then I open that and then it's changes since my last save remember I didn't save so that's there so basically if you like the video rate subscribe comment like tell me what you think I'll see you guys on the next one peace